My name is Pion. Um, my full name is very long, Pion Te Te Jo. Um, I'm from Burma. I did a uh, survey program in 2008-2009 and uh, currently I'm the governance advisor. I work on a range of governance issues including elections, citizen observation, um, parliamentary strengthening, support of civil society and education on a range of areas. For me, it's investing in uh, young, young people because they will become the leaders, or uh, some of them already become. They will become the leaders and they will become the parents, you know. And also the networks that they come from, they belong to, are like very wide. So, you know, you're not just investing on this one person, you're actually investing um, sort of um, hundreds and thousands, you know, depending on how capable they are in their networks. How do you call it? Um, the echoing the effect. The project here, all the scholars undertake, um, I, don't, I don't see it as static, you know, because um, you might, you know, uh, develop an idea, it might be at the beginning, and then you develop uh, all across their years, even after a survey program. So I'm now currently working on women leadership and more women politicians in the parliament um, and women leaders in the public spheres, uh, either they be in civil society, either they be in, um, in civil service. Um, so that's the kind of area that I'm working in. So I see it as a kind of continuous process. By the end of the day, it's where the passion lies and you actually make it happen. I think survey program influenced a lot of uh, what I do now. Um, thinking the big picture, that's, that's, that's to me, it's um, very important, uh, positive influence as the survey program uh, had on my, my vision and my project because when I was thinking about uh, my own project, uh, survey project, was very limited, you know, because I was in civil society, sort of youth movement, um, even though it itself is very broad. It's mainly about that women leadership in those areas. But now the Burma is open and the transition is, you know, happening. So I, I, I you know, now think about uh, women leadership in a very broader sense and the fact that Madame Jean Sauvé was like a, a great public leader. To me, it's like, you know, you, you can't just stick in your own uh, community, small society. You have to see the big picture.